So we'll start out with the Winkessel effect. The Winkessel effect is the ascending thoracic aorta. See, I've got a model of the heart right here. When the heart pumps blood, that's called systole, and that's left ventricular contraction. Then the blood goes up here, oh, I don't know if you can see it, into the ascending aorta. So I've drawn it here on the picture as well, the ascending aorta. And when the left ventricle contracts in, the ascending thoracic aorta expands outward because of the pressure of the contraction. Let's say it's a stolic pressure of 110 over 70. It stands outward, and that's during cardiac contraction systole. During diastole, the heart now relaxes and the ascending thoracic aorta recoils inward. That's called elastic recoil. And that maintains good blood flow during diastole, cardiac relaxation. Some of that blood flow goes retrograde down into the coronary arteries. The vast majority goes upward. The branches coming off the top of the aortic arch there are the, you know, the uh, brachiocephalic artery. It's going to bifurcate into the subclavian and the common carotid.